when you fought um, when you fought Willie Hareem, I mean, did you think the stars were aligned and that this was your night? If you watch the fight again, he, I'm not gonna lie. He put he did put me down, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be behind on this on this round because he put me down. But uh, I upped my game then. He trained the system. I might need to. I went right. Okay, and I upped the game again. So I done more work in him. I was landing more shots cleaner. So I, I, I just couldn't believe how I got beat. Ray was convinced you were going to win going into it. He said he'll, he'll be crown world champion here in Manchester. And even Willie Hareen said this, which must be a sickener now. He said, I'm probably going to have to knock him out to win. That's what he said coming over here. But obviously he, as many people have pointed out since, he got a gift over here. Got a gift. More than got a gift. How not hard me. is it to take? You know, when, when people say, oh, It's yeah. hard, you know, because, like, I'm not going to lie. I won every one of my fights. I'd never been beat. I was unbeaten. And to get robbed the way I did, and then it's that sick. One loss. It knocked me sick. And I thought, wow, what do we do from this now? Pick myself up. How hard is it, though, when you get, when it happens in your own hometown? In England, you know, you'd expect it. You you might not expect it. You might be ready for it if you go to Germany for it, if you've gone to Mexico for it, or Sacramento, where it's from, for it. But for it to, you know, you'd think that everything would be on your side here, wouldn't you? I would have thought that. That's what I thought. But, you know, the judges, some of the judges flew over with him from America, you know, so for me, just stayed in that little bubble. You know, it done me heading. I was, it, it ruined me, it ruined me career in a way. But you know, I come back from it and I won the IBO World title, so. Well, Boxing News at the time called you the the uncrowned champion. With people thinking you'd win, and, or, or people thinking you'd won, and Boxing News calling you the uncrowned champion and, and having that label, does that soften the blow at all, or is it just too bitter to, to taste at the time? No, because it, at the time, I was going on to bigger things. No, but like in the, in, the, in, the, in the days that came afterwards, you couldn't predict, obviously, that you'd get another opportunity or that you'd still be in big fights. You just knew that you felt robbed. No, I'll, I'll be dead straight. It disarmed me and all. Like, it did disarm me, but I believed, I believed in myself because I was a fit kid and I was, you know, I was 100% fit and I made sure, and Ray made sure that everything was right for me, all my sparring and everything. So I knew we'd be back up there. I'd be back banging on the bell. Apparently, for the title. Apparently, Jack had bet five figures on you winning. Jack was a betting man, mate. He bet against anyone against me because he knew I was that good.